Turning to politics now, as President Biden and former President Trump both hold major campaign events this weekend, Biden in California with some Hollywood stars and Trump in Michigan trying to woo conservatives and black voters. ABC White House correspondent Mary Alice Parks joins us now from Detroit with a breakdown of the contrast of the two. Mary Alice, good morning to you. Yeah, Janae, good morning. Former President Trump campaigning here in Michigan alongside a few potential vice presidential picks. While President Biden overnight with President Obama at that mega fundraiser in California, he said the next president could make more appointments to the Supreme Court and that that was reason voters should reelect him. Overnight, President Joe Biden at a star-studded California fundraiser alongside former President Barack Obama and Hollywood A-listers, blasting the Supreme Court as the reason voters should give him a second term. The Supreme Court has never been as out of kilter as it is today. Biden traveling straight from Italy and his meeting with G7 leaders, where he advocated for U.S. leadership on the global stage, especially in support of Ukraine's fight against Russia's invasion. And we'll be with Ukraine until they prevail in this war. That message, a stark contrast from former President Trump, who tried to block more aid to Ukraine and last night was campaigning in Michigan. I think Zelensky is maybe the greatest salesman of any politician that's ever lived. The event in downtown Detroit, hosted by far-right activist Charlie Kirk, who this year said Martin Luther King Jr.'s legacy was, quote, a myth. Outside the event, supporters of Trump, as well as white nationalist Nick Fuentes, gathered in the streets. And it'll be one of the... But in this diverse, democratic stronghold, Trump making a direct pitch to black voters, who in 2020 helped deliver the state to Biden. Trump leaning largely on his anti-immigrant message. They're coming into your community and they're taking your job. He again promised mass deportations on day one should he take back the White House. And Dr. Ben Carson and Florida Congressman Byron Donalds making appearances, both on his short list of potential VP picks. Now, Trump last night was speaking at the same convention center here in Detroit, where in 2020 his supporters tried to stop the counting of absentee ballots. He repeated his false claim that the election was stolen. But it's worth remembering that here in Michigan they did over 250 audits after the 2020 election confirming the vote. Whip. Mary Alice Parks, thank you so much. We appreciate it.